Hello, beautiful Aquarius. Let's take a look at your beloved, your feelings and their feelings. So let's look in detail. This person is feeling you, even though it does appear right now that you are not talking. I'm getting the sacred pool. The relationship had a very <clears throat> spiritual core. What brought you together was uh, spirit. Spirit felt very much that the two of you should exchange energies, that you should share a very deep and abiding love. It was a space that <clears throat> When the two of you were together, it was something that was very, very special. This relationship has had really still waters run deep is what I take from that. The two of you have a very, very deep and abiding love for one another. I get the statue here. This lion has turned into a statue in a deep freeze. I do not feel that for those for whom I'm reading that you are speaking at this time. And if this is not for you, go ahead and look at your ascendant sign. There's a playlist with everything. Um, it's easy to find. But the ghost lands, here we go again. A card, you may have been ghosted. Somebody may have, you may feel abandoned, but we're getting the outcome is into the unknown. So here you are, Aquarius. You know, you're moving into um, new waters, you know, waters that you haven't been in before. You're moving into the future. You're dressed beautifully, though. Look at this, very spiritual. Your hopes and dreams and love for, for love will come true because you're going to make sure you have the courage to move forward. Though this relationship has been very, um, very difficult for you. <clears throat> In the recent past, we get the Queen of Swords with the Three of Swords. Your person put you in a third party situation and you reacted appropriately. You said, oh, hell no, <clears throat> hell no, I'm not doing this. If they have not, if you are both in third party situations, which is possible, you are trying to keep your balance. So for those of you who are on the outside of a third party, you know, your feeling is, no, I can't do this. That's just too heartbreaking. It's too difficult. You know, what I see is that you're working at releasing this person even though you love them. For those of you who are both in third party situations with each other, you're very much stuck. I don't see that changing anytime in the near future. So the reading does explain why the two of you are not speaking at this time, for whom it resonates, okay. Your energy in terms of how you feel about them, you still are very open to having a future with this person. And this person feels the same way, the Ace of Pentacles. They want to make you a big fat offer. That is a very large pentacle, a lot of little you know, branches of growth. The Three of Wands, your ships have come in. Your person sees you very much in the same way. Your person really feels as though you are a wonderful human being that they they have a love for you that they would like to see grow the magician energy is what you're feeling Aquarius this is Gemini and Virgo energy you are keeping an eye out for them you're waiting for them to arrive you expect that they will we have the infinity symbol right there and look at this the two of cups they feel the same way this person loves you you feel as though there's a magic and a chemistry and they feel the same way about you. This is a very mutual set of cards. They manifested you, you manifested them. The Two of Cups says that even though the two of you are not together at this time, you both see each other with the Ace of Coins and the Three of Wands. You both see each other as potential love mates, potential spouses, you know, potential long-term partners. You have not stopped loving each other even though it appears right now that, you know, there's no contact. Eight of Swords energy really speaks to the fact that you feel overwhelmed. This is Gemini energy, and it's it's just a feeling that you there's nowhere you can go with this. You're living in a, you know, you're sleeping on a bed of thorns. The Son of Swords indicates that this person said or did something to you in a way that cut you off. They flew in, they flew out, they flew the coop, and they left you in this sort of feeling that you're in a bind, that you have no recourse. 
that you really don't have a way that you could reach out to them with that son of uh, swords cutting off contact severing contact with you even though they love you even though you love them we see this beautiful red rose here this person is someone who had to had they were on a mission from god is all i will say <clears throat> very belushi brothers very um you know, Blues Brothers, the Chariot card. This person had to go somewhere in their life, the Chariot card. It had to do with home and hearth and taking care of family, and they left you behind. This is your energy. You feel, you know, you feel like, where did they go? What happened, you know? But this is you feeling very much abandoned. And this person is very much in control. The choices that they made were very, very well thought out, very specific to meet a long-term goal. But that goal did not have you as an inclusive part. So my take on this is that you both are married to other people or you have connections with other people in which the ties have not been severed, at least on your person's part. The Four of Cups says that you really are disappointed without them. You know, we're seeing that your energy is, you're feeling sad, you're feeling blue, you're feeling as though, where did the love go? You know, we were having so much fun here, but you don't see the cup of love here that's standing right behind you. And this person feels as though they had to release a burden. Now we're gonna clarify the cards also. This person had to release a burden. When they left you, they know they hurt you, but they couldn't carry the burden of the relationship at this time. But it does feel very much like you've been abandoned, and yet, for most of you, I think you know better. I feel as though most of you know that this person loves you. The movement of cups is the energy that we see for, you know, you really feel romantic. You want this person to come in and kiss you and hug you and make love with you and bring you a rose. And, you know, you're really ready for romance with this person. You would love to make the first move, but you feel as though the timing isn't right because the movement of cups is on the go. It's not stable energy. It's in and out energy. And here we have the Scorpio card, the Judgment card, looks as though your person has cut you off. They made a decision. This decision came as a total shock. I get the Justice card here. They did it for a marriage. It looks as though, because a Justice card would be Libra Energy, seventh house, a legal relationship. And it took you by total surprise. They didn't give you any warning that they were gonna cut you off. It like you just feel as though it was a lightning strike that this person really didn't include you in any of their plans, any of the, the sort of advice that we have going on here. You just feel stunned. You feel, you feel like the air has been knocked out of you. Like you were on a swing, you flew out and landed on your chest. The star card, you carry a flame for this person. This person knows that you carry that flame. They also carry a flame for you. The high priestess energy speaks to their silence, but it doesn't speak to the, it speaks to the fact that they silently love you. You are their rock star. You are their star. This person sees you as their future. There's so much love here. And yet your person essentially ghosted you. They know what they did too. They're, they're fully aware of it. The Ten of Wands says it, that they feel tremendously guilty, but they're not going to talk about it with you. So let's dig in and let's look and see more about what's going on in this love story. <clears throat> look at that. That's an exquisite love story. Those two cards, these two cards, exquisite love story the star card and the high priestess, both very spiritual cards, both really saying, you know, your person's looking at you and just staring at you. And that is the truth. Here we go. Truth be told. The two of you are sort of in a world of your own, very much that you hold each other in such high regard. Both of you think the other one is too good for them. <laughs> <laughs> which is very cute and yet you don't <laughs> because both of you really understand your own value tell us something more about this outcome <clears throat> the eight of swords says that it's on hold 
the Daughter of Wands says that there is a child involved. The Five of Wands says that this person felt very pulled apart. They felt that they just didn't have the ability to carry on anymore in the relationship, but they are on hold. This card actually is self-imposed restriction, but it's not an ending, okay? It is not an ending. So let's see, let's go back. Let's start at the beginning. <clears throat> Son of Wands energy, look at <laughs> You were spying on each other. Here you are, Aquarius. You saw this person. You were spying on them in plain sight. And this person didn't appear to be looking back, but look at this. They were doing the same thing with you. They were, they were staring back at you. <laughs> I love it. That is so cute. Justice card, you both knew. I think both of you are married. Um, or in some sort of legal arrangement where you've at least purchased a house with somebody else. The Justice card, you know, we also have Judgment card. When I start getting three-party situations, Justice and Judgment, the Judgment is usually of divorce. The Justice card we have twice. Look at this. This is your energy down here. It's their energy up there. You both want to be single and you want to be together. The Six of Swords energy says that both of you would like to move away from the past, away from the past heartache. You would like to find the rainbow that the two of you could have together. Let's see why we have the Three of Wands. You see them as your future. They see themselves making an offer to you. The Ace of Pentacles is a substantial offer. That's how they feel about you right now in this moment that we are throwing cards. Look at this. They're burning. Oh, look at that. Seven of Wands. This person feels like they are defending the flame of love within their heart. The Four of Wands says that they would love to be, well, you both would love to be married to each other. And the Ace of Cups says that you're both still very much in love with each other. Because these are the clarifiers are the mutual energy, like straight out mutual energy. <clears throat> wow. So you want to live together, you want to be married, you want, you want a victory, you both think one another is exquisite, you both watch each other as best you can, you watched each other from the beginning. This was a complete shock. This was not something either one of you ever planned. The Magician card says that both of you longed for the relationship that you had with each other, and when you met, you fell into step with each other immediately. The tower card, it was like a, a lightning strike. It was like a bolt of lightning came down and just took both of you into this space of love that you had never imagined existed. Tower card, the epiphany. It totally uprooted both of you in terms of your lives. It really made both of you want to immediately change your lives. With that two of cups and the magician card, you manifested love with each other. What else is going on? This is how did your person view the future for the two of you in terms of this energy? Ace of Wands, a new beginning. This person sees a new beginning. Why does this person see a new beginning? Why does this person see a new beginning? Daughter of Swords, again, something about a child. Waiting, waiting five years, eight years, I don't, you know, whatever the time. It looks as though this person is waiting for a child or children to, uh, to grow up and leave home. If I'm reading this correctly, the Eight of Swords, you are under house arrest, self-imposed house arrest. This is where you're at. This is where they're at. Neither of you are reaching out to one another. Why? The Eight of Cups, you feel as though they left you behind, so you have no option. This Eight of Cups is the same as this. So this is both, you know, this is your energy in both areas. This person does not feel as though they left you behind, though they did. They did. This is a, this is a, in their heart space. This is in their heart space. They view you as holding back, that you're not really reaching out. There is a sense that they would like for you to, however, they cut you off. Why do they cut you off? 
Why did the Son of Swords come in and, and make it so that you really couldn't contact them? Why did this person do it? Why did this person cut you off when there was no need to really? Judgment card again. So now we have judgment twice. This person felt that they didn't have an option. Why is the judgment card here? Why didn't they feel they had an option? Why did this person feel that they did not have an option? Their future, their future depended on it. <clears throat> what we're seeing here is their plans. They already had plans. They had plans for the future, something that they were doing. They'd already made a decision. It was already in motion. They already knew what was going to happen. And they felt that they could not keep contact with you because it would turn their decision, their ships that had come in, that it would turn it upside down. Now I want you to look at this energy, look at it. It's here. It's here. It's the energy that says that both of you even now feel as though the two of you have a future, but your person doesn't see it as right now. So they made a very hard decision. We get the justice card here. That's your energy. But what we're seeing is somebody who made a very bold move. Let's see. Why is the eight of cups here? Why? Why is this eight of cups here? Hierophant, they walked away because they were married. The star card, how they feel about you in their heart space. Would they like for you to be their marriage partner? Yes. Yes, the star card. They feel this way. They look at you in this regard. You view them the same way. Why is the four of cups here? Why is the four of cups here, spirit? Why, why is this four of cups here? They can't do anything. This person feels as though they can't do anything. You kind of know this, Aquarius. You know that there is, you know emotionally they're not equipped for this at this time. What I'm seeing here is that you don't really buy into the reason that they're not talking to you. The Four of Cups is like, are you for real? You know, you could talk to me. There would be no harm in that because you've never done anything you've never done anything to hurt them temperance card they're coming to grips with the way to contact you oh beautiful i am so happy for you the temperance card means that they want to reconcile but they also want to break the code of silence with you because here we have silence we have failure we have burden in terms of how they felt that's why they stopped talking they definitely want to bridge the gap. I feel as though for some of you, this person may reach out during the holidays. Whoops. Ah, the Emperor card. This person got promoted. That's what the judgment is about. That judgment card and judgment card. Ten of Cups. It's something that they've had a lifelong ambition to do. They had already made plans to do it. Since childhood... This was a childhood dream of your person's. They wanted to achieve this level of status off the charts. Beautiful energy. So for those for whom this resonates, this person has a life goal and children and a marriage. And they are trying to do, they're trying to maintain and hold on to their dream that they've had for many years. But as you can see, that's not possible. The tower card here. The tower card here absolutely means that this is not possible. So we have the tower card twice, right? Now we have the chariot card. This person cannot maintain staying apart from you. The fool card says that they are going to, they're going to try to keep balanced. That's you. They feel as though you're very stable, that you're very balanced. They also may find out, it does look like one of you has filed for divorce or you're in the process of divorce or you're planning a divorce, but I'm getting a new beginning here. Magician card again, the two of you are manifesting each other. This looks like it's soon. These are major arcana cards. This is likely just as, the, as quickly as this stopped, I feel as though it's going to start again. But again, it'll depend on each person. The Three of Cups energy is coming in here. We had the Ace of Coins up here. Three of Cups and the Ace of Coins together is planning a marriage. It can be, um, it's oftentimes the engagement set. The Two of Coins, your person is rethinking their judgment call that they made. The Mother of Wands, they see you as a very fiery, beautiful queen. They also see you not taking any action. 
How do they feel about the fact that you are not taking action at this time? How does your person feel? How does your person feel, Aquarius? Okay. Four of Swords. They feel as though you're, you're just really paying attention. They feel as though you're on the lookout for them, but you're just not going to step over that line. Seven of Swords says that they know that they really didn't do the right thing by you. And at this point in time, though you still love them, you have lost a little bit of trust for them. They, they understand that they feel as though, or that you feel as though they went deaf, come silent on purpose. And that leaves you very sad, very lonely, very, you feel as though they left you on the curb that you feel as though, you know, this father of wands, oh, look at that father, the father and queen of wands. You're both very fiery. This is, this is Leo Aries energy, Aries energy. So you you feel Aquarius as though this person left you no choice. They recognize that they do. They recognize that you're a very grounded person and that you're just accepting it for what it is. You don't like it. It hurts like hell, but you are accepting it because we get, look at, we get the five of cups, sadness. We get the five of coins, abandonment. We get the seven of coins. You are both invested in the relationship. We get the son of pentacles. There may be an age difference in this relationship, but we do get the hermit card. Both of you are hermiting and yet holding the midnight oil. You're burning the midnight oil for each other. Look at that hermit card. You're holding space for each other. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Let's take a look and see what the messages of love have to say about some of these aspects. So what about the Three of Swords energy? What is the Three of Swords energy telling us? The fact that you really, you spied on each other, you were attracted to each other, you really didn't see this coming. Yep, Three of Swords is about marriage. Okay, but look at, according to this, your union is heading towards um, a sacred union. You're, you are heading towards marriage with this person. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what the tower is. Let's see what the messages of a uh, love oracle has to say about the tower. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Whoa. The energy of the judgment card said that this person was unavailable to give you what you deserved. We see this energy down here also. What's the juggling card here? We have this two of coins. Whoops, too many cards. Have to pick them up and start over. Okay. So we see the two of coins here. What is this person juggling in terms of what they can give you? Well, they want to have integrity and they want new love with you. Look at that. They want new love. They do feel as though they acted with integrity. They do think they acted with integrity. Let's see what they would say now. Ah, financial challenges are affecting this relationship. So money had something to do with you getting cut off. You and this person don't share the same vision and addiction is affecting this relationship. Well, I didn't see that coming. So this person, hmm. Okay, spirit, what does that mean? We, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> addiction. Okay, what is the possible addiction this person has? What is the addiction in this relationship or why are you on different pages? Okay, what would be that energy? What be, would be the clarity? Mother Pentacles, okay. So I'm getting that both of, <laughs> You're both addicted to love. You're both addicted to loving each other. You have true love, unconditional love. The two of coins, you both feel as though you've had, you've had other partners. Both of you have been married, it seems. And yet another tower card, because you are addicted to love with each other. Oh, look at this, soulmate was hidden. There's, there's your addiction. That's what soulmate energy is. It feels totally addicted. You're very different though. The justice card says that you're very different, but to be absolutely fair, whoever is the Emperor Aries energy in this relationship is very, uh, find you very, very um, intensely erotic, exotic. You're the rock star, remember that. We have the star buried here. Here you are Aquarius, okay. 
They are going to climb the stairs, stairway to heaven. They are going to come after you. Bottom of the deck is devil energy right now. They are, they are just not able to come to you. Devil energy is this person is very much chained to their career, Capricorn energy. Let's see what they would say to you, Aquarius, if they had the courage to, or what they might say to you, however it resonates. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Okay. You are special to me even though I told you otherwise. Now, I don't think this person told you with words. I think that they told you or you got the feeling that you were not important to them because in essence, it looks like they did a disappearing act like out of the blue it ended as quickly as it started karma is oh karma is a bitch i finally got mine i see a little part of you and everyone i meet they're addicted to you absolutely they live a very different lifestyle though tell us about the lifestyle difference how does that impact this relationship how does the lifestyle difference impact this relationship the fact that you're not on the same pages, page with this person, it makes this person wonder if you can handle their lifestyle. This person does not know if you could deal with the lifestyle that they live. Now, so we ask what kind of a lifestyle is that? Well, that could be somebody who travels internationally. That could be somebody who's away from home a lot. That could be somebody who lives or has a job very different from your own. Uh, it just really shows not a lack of being on the same page emotionally because you are, but just your lifestyles are radically different. Some of your political views are radically different, but I'm seeing two people that profoundly love each other. I get soulmate energy. I get that this person will come back. They will reinitiate the relationship. It doesn't look like it's fast because we have all these tower cards. There's no stability here. But when they come back, they will appear out of nowhere like a mirage. You're going to think, oh, I'm just imagining it. I feel their energy. But they're going to show up. They're going to show up. We have the star card here twice. Look at that. That's you, Aquarius. They feel as though you are their star. You are their shining star for as different as the two of you are. Sending you love from Chicago, Aquarius. Send some back and tell me where you're from.